Welcome back, everyone. Grimmy Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. One pain, not one painful year. That how was last year? <laughs> this is the no sleep challenge. I know what I'm doing. This is also the first episode that I have recorded with the new sound noiseworks stuff and the new uh, placement of random things in the world. So I'm excited to see that. We're, right now we're, we're leaving Riverside. If you remember from last time, it was a little bit exciting. Um, I, I'm going to go... There's a series of houses. I think there's like four, maybe five of them. Um, relatively close to Riverside. That I'm going to try and... Uh, hunker down in for a little bit. Because I would like to go back for our stuff. I know that's tempting fate in a way that I probably shouldn't, but... Where's my cigarettes? Uh, but I do want to go back for our stuff. Seriously, where are my cigarettes? They're usually... Did they get... Nope, they're right there. Okay. All 166 of them. Um, yeah, just down this road. So I just want to... I want to potentially go back for the stuff we left behind, but that's going to require us to rest up for a little bit. Oh, the new noises. The cars are not a, aren't crazy loud anymore. That's nice. We may have to bail of this, we'll see. Because this was also in the vicinity of where the, uh, the helicopter was, so we might not be able to get into safe harbor. But we'll see. The rain sounds nice. I like the way the rain sounds. But this is- I was not expecting another road. We are not- we are not where I thought we were. <laughs> Those zombies don't seem to be bothered right now. Oh, there's a group up here. So clearly this is not the group of houses I thought it was. Let me grab it. Let's go this way. This is taking us back sort of towards Rosewood. But uh, maybe we'll be able to find something new. Now the one thing about it is, is that we're... We're... We've seen a lot of this area before, so the new stuff isn't going to populate. Because it's, you know, it's like already been shown. It's already in the map. Yeah, this is this is not looking like where the place where I want to be. <laughs> it's just taking us back into Riverside from a different direction. Ooh, look at that. The new lighting. I didn't know that we would sometimes find them turned on already. That's cool. I knew that that existed, but I didn't realize you would sometimes find it turned on. That's neat. So clearly that we're in an area we haven't been in before because the, that just populated itself. <laughs> Firefighters stuff. Alright, I'm slightly lost. I don't remember this building. Okay, I know where we are now. Sterns are us. I feel like I can hear the siren in the distance. I wonder if it's pulling the zombies. Yeah, there's too many coming this way. I was gonna try to get into Enigma books there and snag some stuff, but let's not push our luck. Oh, learning all the new noises. It's gonna be an adventure. So our busted car is right there. I wonder if I can get anything out of this before the zombies show up. I'll leave the car running. Ooh, that's a new noise. In that. Oh, I, I went at it the wrong direction. Oh, there you are. Again, sight cone. Oh, no. Run. Run. Okay, that was a bad idea. 
Now we're back in this mess again. <laughs> My helmet. Many of them. All right, let me see if I can just grab my helmet. No, not the boots, the helmet. There we go. All right, now I just have to get back in the car and leave. We'll come back for this later. Clearly, this was a mistake right now. Um, I know I just said this was a mistake, but we're gonna we're gonna do this anyways. I need to just pull the zombies away from the car. We'll go back. Problem, however, is that I need to pull all the zombies away from the car, not just a few of them. You know, one of the things we lost, one of the things we lost in the, in the audio update, which I'm hopefully will be replaced, is the advanced tab. You used to be able to open the advanced tab and, and control all of the, every individual piece of audio in the game. I'm hoping it'll come back. So I like to turn various bits and pieces down that bother me. Can I wear this while driving? There you go. Alright, let's see how this is going up here. Look at all you. These guys can't follow directions. So much harder to control zombies in the car than it is by by foot. A lot more random ones wandering off in different directions when you're in the car. Everyone come over here. All right, make one more, one more attempted pass here. If this ends up being too hot to get anything out of the car, we'll just, we'll bail. We'll come back some other time. 
Uh, a couple of zombies coming. Yeah, we can't. I can't do this right now. Too many zombies and I'm in too bad a shape. Oh well. Alright, I'm stopping. Stopping at just a random house while we're out here in the wilderness. Just to take a look, see. See if we can dump some of this stuff in the trunk. Probably this entire other bag. The held one. Out you go. Oh, the noises. The noises, they're different. I'm scared of different. There we go. Pin. Oh, I hear a zombie. In the bathroom? Probably in the bathroom. Ooh, the radio looks different. That's a big ass cherry. <laughs> oh, it shows red now when it doesn't fit. Oh, that's cool. In case you're wondering, I'm just leaving her there. I'm not. We'll be out of here before she uh, matters. So, other house up that direction. I guess we can run over there real quick. Actually, never mind. We'll just leave. Barn down here at the end of the street. These barns are usually kind of useless. Oh, this one's extra useless. Is that just a... Is this just a glitch? Oh, yeah, that was a weird glitch because I'm in the car. Made it so that I couldn't see anything. Travel bag, nothing. Garden hoe. I wonder if the hoe is a decent weapon. You know what? Let me grab a hoe. And we'll see. We'll give it a shot at some point in the future. Oh, um, excuse me. Get in the car, please. Thank you. <laughs> you're back to being excessively exerted. It's, it's easy to do when you're, uh, this tired. Alright, back to driving home. Zombie wall with the survivor? Yep. I don't really want to run this guy down, but I don't think I have another choice if I want to kill him. I don't think that works. Nope. Get him? No. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad for this car. And it's the only car we have right now, so I probably shouldn't be doing this, but... I, I, want, I want another giant backpack. I only have two. That's <laughs> so greedy. So greedy. Alright, I think I got him that time. Yeah, I got him that time. Alright, now we can slide back up here. Stop. Jump out. Grab. Where is it? Come on. Get back in. And we're off. 
traded some damage on the car for another giant backpack. And probably a little bit of loot. Okay, so I don't know if they tightened the steering in the last patch, but I am, knock on wood, doing a lot better job of driving than I, I haven't previously. Like, I haven't hit... Of course. I was about to say I haven't hit anything, any zombies by accident yet on this whole drive, but clearly I just hit one, but still. That's significantly less than I normally do. Alright, we have officially made it back home. Such as it is. So I lost a bunch of my coffee because of the, um, it was in the other car. But we do have a bunch of tea bags, so that's something. So most of you by now have probably already seen this. But it's the new the new feature in this build. One of the new new big features in this build. But if you haven't, you can you can rotate you can place items now in the world. Like that. Except for I put that on the floor, I guess. I meant to put it on the on the uh table. Oh, that's my helmet. <laughs> that's alright, I got another one. So now you got, you know, you just got stuff you can put down. Great for, uh, for just decorating your room. That's a thing you want to do. Seems pretty cool. Try and do a little bit more of it as time goes on. Put you on I wanted to put you on the table, so... Actually, you know what would make sense to put you over here? This item. There you go. So this is the other, this is the, the maps that I got from the the other bag. It's not that impressive, but it's something. It's better than nothing. Don't be such a Debbie Downer. Alright, after a couple of hours sitting, just sitting on the couch, or sitting near the couch as the case may be, we've finally gotten to the point where we can uh, have a little bit, just a little bit, of stamina. I want to give this, I have a feeling this garden hose, hoe isn't going to last very long, but I want to give it a shot as a weapon. What it qualifies as. Long blunt, probably. It looks like a really long pickaxe. <laughs> Do I have a kettle? It's an important question. As I was reminded that there is in fact a, another type of drink that I can make, but it requires the use of a kettle. So we don't look like we have one right now. We'll have to keep an eye out for a kettle. Because you can make a hot cuppa, which is different than a regular, uh, you know, regular thing. I think it does a little bit more in the, uh, The tiredness bracket, but I could be wrong. Treats from tea bag. Tea beverage uncooked fatigue is negative 13. That's not a lot. I also want to start collecting as many uh, mugs as I can find so that we can just, if we want, we can just have a, a legion of uh, 
Just have a legion of coffee mug, coffee cups ready to go. Ambient sounds fun. All right, let's give this thing a shot. I know we're super tired, so it's not gonna do a great job, but there's a single zombie down here. So let's see how this, uh, this hoe works out. Okay, not just a single zombie, but we can probably just get a single zombie. We're careful. Nope. Maybe still just one? Yeah, it looks like we're still just getting just one. That other one shifted around and I thought we were gonna get get got for a second. This one's bringing me a knife of some variety. It's important we clean up our immediate vicinity, so let's uh, let's just take care of some business here. So much meteor sounding. All right, let's try and figure out what this one is. Clearly not a spear, because that's still at zero. I expect it's long blunt. We're at 49.93, or we're at 3.37 for axes. There was a third zombie. Oh, there she is. Oh, there's a fourth zombie. Fifty, yeah, okay, so it's it's considered a long blunt. That makes the most sense. I agree with that, Zomboid. I know you didn't ask me and you don't care whether I agree with you or not, but I agree with you. Alright, this uh this episode was a little bit more of just resetting. It's getting back to a nice safe place. Preparing for the future. We're getting winded. It's amazing how fast you get winded when you're ridiculously tired. But uh, we're just going to stop here for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you next time.